meet you. Maybe you're feeling a little overwhelmed these days, trying to find love, go to work, earn money to pay for your housing, do a little shopping, uh, pay for your food, support your pet, hang out with your friends, and if there's any time left over, maybe even exercise. Phew, amongst all that, maybe you're asking yourself, is there a better way? Hi, my name is JJ Sylvia, and I want to thank you for checking out this course. If you're having any of the feelings from the opening, maybe you're feeling a little overwhelmed, not sure where things are headed, don't know what you want to do with your life, doesn't matter how old you are, then I want to ask you to do yourself a favor and take some time to really check out this course and what's inside of it. Uh, I believe in doing philosophy really hands-on, following the dialectic method of Socrates. And so I set up this course to really follow that path. Uh, I'm going to ask you to do things, to write things, to think about things. And the really cool part is that you get a chance to ask me questions and interact with me along the way. Uh, I want us to really practice that dialectic method of communicating back and forth with each other as we do philosophy and learn about what the good life is and can be. I'm not going to offer you any definitive answers in this course because each of our lives are very different, but we're going to look at some of the answers that the best thinkers throughout history have offered for what the good life is and how we can achieve it. All you have to do to get started is click the little button to the right and then you're going to get lifetime access to this course and all of its materials. In Philosophy Matters, Philosophy and the Good Life, we're going to be looking into the spirit and pursuit of philosophy, really digging into the love of wisdom and talking about Socrates and his dialectic method. We'll talk about exactly what that method is and how it can be used to answer some of life's most important questions. One of the issues in talking about happiness is that it's actually really difficult to discuss. What is happiness? Can it be different for different people? Can we even know if we are truly happy? These are some of the questions that we're going to be digging into and trying to get a better grasp of as we go through the course. There are two main theories of happiness. The first is an external theory of happiness. These include systems such as hedonism, epicureanism, and utilitarianism. The other main type of theory is an internal theory of happiness, and these include systems such as stoicism and buddhism. We'll be looking at both of these theories in depth and trying to see what we can find out about happiness from them. Of course, we don't want to leave out modern science either, so we'll be looking at the field of positive psychology to see what types of answers about happiness this field can provide us. Can it tell us more, perhaps, than the discipline of philosophy has? Another system we'll be thinking about is Aristotle's eudaimonia. He believes that virtue and wisdom come together to bring us the good life. We'll also be thinking about the impact of modern media on our happiness and the good life and dig into things we can do in a practical way to increase our happiness. And we'll want to look at opposing views. Perhaps happiness isn't something that's achievable. Perhaps pessimism or melancholy is the correct answer in our life. Maybe there's nothing to truly ever be happy about. From there, we'll reflect on the meaning of life by thinking about death. If we truly focus on the idea that we're going to die, Will that change the way that we decide to live our lives? This can be a powerful tool in thinking about what the good life is. And hopefully, after the course, you'll meet a brand new you.